How is everybody doing? First off, I gotta apologize. I've been uh, kind of under the weather. Um, we'll get to that in a second. All right. So, first thing I gotta do is uh, say about three, maybe four weeks. It's almost been a month, I guess. They're pretty close. I need to uh, thank the Small Channel Mafia guys. Hells on Two Wheels, El Buffalo, Father Bobber, and we ride West Virginia for uh, having me on the Small Channel Mafia as a guest. As somebody just starting, I've uh, been around, what, about five months? You know, that kind of means a lot, being seen and being interacted with. Um, so, I, you know, I do have a lot of loyalty to the those guys for that and they are really cool guys and along with talking about them i want to congratulate uh hells on two wheels for hitting 1k today and today is monday no <laughs> it ain't monday uh wednesday today's wednesday i don't know if the video is going to come out today I'm gonna try but if not congratulations hells on two wheels you put in the work you've earned it and you deserve it and I know you say you're a Richard if you don't know what a Richard is go ask Google because she knows everything but seeing how we're both Air Force vets and really I don't care what branch you're in you can you pretty much have the same thought process and you get bothered by the same stuff so to me you're normal uh, sorry if you was looking for something more you didn't get it <laughs> but today I want to talk about me I've been asked, uh, you know, where's my name come from? Where am I at? Blah, 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 blah. So I'm gonna go over some of that today. My first name's Don, uh, hence the D. Uh, I, it's no secret, I mentioned it before, I was medically retired from the military. And it, uh, I guess give me purpose and, you know, it also leaves something for my great grandkids and great great grandkids that I'm sure YouTube will still be around. Videos will probably be old as dirt and they'll look like, what the heck's he doing? But yeah, at least they'll get to see me and what my passion is. So, Tweedledee, when I decided to start my YouTube journey, I started looking at changing my name on YouTube because it was my actual full name. And there are some creators that actually know my full name. And you know, I don't have nothing to hide. If I have a, a diehard fan, they'll probably end up knowing my name too because without them, there wouldn't, you know, It'd just be me riding around nobody watching so for all my subscribers and everybody watching thank you it does mean a lot and hopefully i'll start exceeding or meeting or expectations especially of myself because this is like number five or six of this video and i'll probably done the uh, cardinal rule of YouTube is don't just go and delete a video without watching the footage because just because I don't like it don't mean y'all won't so Tweedledee originated from four other failed names that well I ain't gonna say failed two of them were taken one by 
somebody that doesn't even really do YouTube. They just, I guess they just watch it. And there was another YouTuber that, you know, it was extremely close and I didn't want to be that guy. So I had a guy, he was, uh, he outranked me. So he would always call everybody by their first initial. And see how my name's Don, it would always be D. And then he got to the point where he'd just be like, you know, Tweedledee, take Tweedledum and Tweedledum are out the aircraft, blah, 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 blah. They're broke or leaking hydro, go fix them. And, you know, I'd take whoever he was talking about and go fix the daggum airplane so they could go fly. But that's where it originated from. It kind of goes good with it's me, it's me, it's Tweedledee, which I should start using more, but I guess really I want to be a little more comfortable before my full side comes out. <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm a lot more comfortable in front of the camera than I was. And I know my very first video is an install video and I probably look like a deer in headlights <laughs> which is funny because I had already been running around making content but not using it because I was learning how to edit and all that stuff but I'm to the point you know, I, I just, I think I used it, I got it right before my last video. I had to upgrade my computer because it was uh, slow and horrible. So I had to uh, get a new, I went and bought a gaming laptop and added a bunch of speed to it and storage. So it's, it's pretty quick right now. And I'm only using it for video editing and upload, so... Only, well, I actually use it to check my Tweedledee emails. But other than that, I'm trying to, uh, I guess, keep it virus-free and bug-free and cookie-free and whatever else kind of free there is on a computer. Um, I know <laughs> I've made some comments lately that, and I guess really it's because of you know everything I know about motorcycles I learned from my dad except for the wrench turning I did that on my own before I got out of the Navy and kind of some of those rules suggestions he made I've already thrown out the window one of them was like don't buy a Harley because they're hardly a motorcycle uh, daddy this beast between my legs is uh, a damn good motorcycle and I know if he was still alive he would have got on it and he would have been probably going right down to the Harley dealer But there's like some, uh, I guess it's because it's, to me it's, and when I say windshield, I'm not talking about a fairing, not talking about a road glider, street glide, that's all for aerodynamics, I count those like crotch rockets. I'm talking soft tail with a, a damn windshield comes like up to here. Uh, to me that defeats the purpose of riding a motorcycle. You're supposed to have wind in your face and bugs in your teeth and uh, That's part of the adventure And I know <laughs> I know riding on the interstate riding in that wind It gets tiresome. It, it does take it out of you and I'm sure that helps but I just can't I'm not gonna knock somebody that does have it on their bike, but I uh, also not gonna put it on my bike. I just like gremlin bells. 
I don't believe I'm I'm no I'm not going to uh there's a big old nut in the road I'm not going to uh <laughs> use them because I'm not superstitious I believe if you actually maintain your bike look at your bike every day it uh will take care of itself hey you know what day it is hump day <laughs> oh shit there's another one <laughs> But, I don't dog people for what they do, how they ride. I don't care if you're a stripper, a mechanic, McDonald's employee, a lawyer, a doctor. I don't care. I mean, if you don't ride like a moron, And I know I'm sure some people are like, what do you mean by that? I mean, riding outside of your skill level and doing it intentionally, thinking you're good when you're not, because that's when you're going to go down and you're going to wreck. But I'm talking, you know, if you can ride, you don't ride your ride Here, here's one thing that really has been hurting me a little bit too is i consider somebody who says ride your own ride but wear all your gear all the time i'm sorry but you're a hypocrite because now you're telling them to ride your ride because you're scared and you want to be wrapped up in leather and bubble wrap and that's your prerogative you you go right ahead and do that i'm not going to stop you i may kind of shake my head a little bit at you but uh, if you're wrapped up head to toe in leather, I ain't gonna, I don't care what you do. It's your ride. You ride it how you want. But don't dictate to somebody that's been riding for, you know, 10, 20, 30, uh, even five, hell, even three years that they need to be wearing all their gear all the time. You need to stop that crap because you're you're putting this into some people's heads that because you have all the gear on you're invincible and you're not i don't care how much gear you have on i don't care who you are how much money you make when it's your time to crash it's your time to crash and if it's your time to die there is nobody on this earth going to be able to save you from that buy your way out of it beg your way out of it so live how you want to live you do you you know what your comfort rail level is you know what your skill level is you do need to push your skill level when you're by yourself so you don't endanger nobody that way you do get better but be smart is what I'm saying if you're smart about it You'll be fine. And that's all I'm going to say about that. I know that's probably, probably going to get me a bunch of uh, thumbs downs and you know, maybe even some subscriber loss. But if, if you feel that, that strongly about it, it, it hits it right at home that I'm right. And you guys are sending the wrong message to new riders and it does keep a lot of people from getting on bikes because they think okay i don't have the money to buy all this gear so i don't need to be riding no you just need to be able to get what you can afford to get that makes you comfortable so that, i, I want to end that rant right there because I could probably debate that all day long. I did make a comment on a certain on that YouTuber's video, and it was a video about him having problems with old school bikers. And I guess I 
I guess really I have an old school mentality. But I can no longer find that video at all. <laughs> so I don't know if he deleted the video off or deleted my comments. I mean, I can't find it at all. I don't know where the heck it went. But I don't care. I just wanted to see what other people, you know, how many people was going to jump up against me, try to give me some hate mail. I know people talk about trolls and all that, but I kind of look at it this way. Are you really a troll? If you go out of your way and I live rent free in your head for you to put you know smart ass rude comments up on my post I think you're a big fan you might not agree with me no, that's fine nobody's supposed to agree really every you, you ain't gonna find one person that agrees on every single topic not gonna happen and I also have seen my subscriber numbers jump I'm going off track here it's okay I did put my uh, black line dash trim video up on uh, the breakout Harley Davidson breakout forum so I have seen numbers jump from that so if you are here on my channel from that group I will go ahead and tell you I am in the process of trying to save some money or sell a boat <laughs> because I have found the exhaust I'm going with on this bike I've contacted the manufacturer nobody has pictures of it on a twin cam breakout they do verify it fits there's no videos of them out either so I plan on changing that and I'll probably be uh, adding a, uh, a tuner. I think it's a Power Vision tuner instead of the Vance and Hines because, well, I just don't want to deal with Vance and Hines. I don't want to. Personal reasons. We'll go with that. No, I didn't ask him for free stuff. Uh. I uh, had some questions about an exhaust that I've been seeing on the breakout and they were whoever it was was pretty rude and disrespectful and well after that I pretty much said screw Vance and Hines I'm gonna have a little freedom and yes that was a teaser word my intake cleaner breather um, it's supposed to be a high flow I'm probably gonna keep it I may go with a different one in the future um, but it's got to look like uh, I, I want my bike look like Harley purposely built it this way I don't want to uh, mix match. Um, it, it, it's going to happen with different, you know, suspensions and bars and all that kind of stuff. It's going to happen uh, having mix match parts. But I just with the exhaust, it, it, it's got to be something really close to the exhaust and flow with the exhaust because the exhaust completes the vibe that Harley Davidson came up with when they designed this bike. I think it fits perfectly fine and seeing how the tip angles it'll be a perfect skirt blower or down and blow dirt everywhere I had not figured out which way I want when I get that exhaust I'm gonna test it with the nozzle going different ways to uh, to see what sounds better and which is more badass and which one I guess rides better 
so that is coming down the pipeline that one's uh, going to be a little bit further down because of how much it is but uh yeah i just wanted to get out and do a video let everybody know i was okay been under the weather had got my sinuses raped by trees and then got some kind of stomach bug but uh yeah stick around it's gonna get interesting you know go and like comment subscribe come on man y'all know the thing and i'll see you on the next one